Amen. Praise Amen. God. You may be Amen. seated. Well, blessed be the name of the Lord our God forever and forever. I'm grateful and thankful unto God for it. I'm thankful for God's goodness and for His grace and for all that He has done and all that He has done. Uh, we're talking about the peace of God, letting peace rule. I want us to go ahead and, and turn over to Colossians chapter number 3. Colossians chapter 3. And uh, I, I want us to, I want to look at these first few verses there in Colossians 3. God speaks to us here. Uh, the peace of God is, is dear God, it's, 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 it's amazing. The, the, I, I like to, you know, there's, there's, there's several ways you can, you can express and ex share, the, 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 the explain what, what peace is. Uh, peace, is of, peace is freedom from all distress. But then the peace of God is, is the, is, which is the same, is the absence of all demonic activities. That's right. That's right. The absence of that. The absence of all, all demonic activities. Anything that he has, Satan has to do with. Well, peace is the absence of that. And yes. if you can imagine, and you can, you can use your mind. You can, if you can imagine the peace of God that he gives unto us. And, and, he, and he, what he says unto us, he says, he says let peace rule. The, the, verse 15 of the third chapter of Colossians. Verse 15, he said, let peace rule. Okay. Who is he talking? Well, he's talking to us. Mm -hmm. Let peace rule. Is there such place as that will reflect the absence of, act, of demonic activity? Yes. There is such place. Mm -hmm. it, it would have to be. Otherwise, God would not say to us to let it rule. You see, I, I want us to understand there is more for us than that you are walking in. If you think you know and have everything that you got coming, dear God, you're way behind. You're way behind the eight ball. There is, there is a lot more that God has for you. In other words, you cannot exhaust what God has for you. For you. Think about that. There is enough goodness to last you forever, mm. and you haven't you haven't you haven't broken the crust. Right. We're talking about God, before we're talking about God. You know. Now notice what he says. One place he said, "Your eyes have not seen, mm. your ears have not heard, mm. neither have entered." into the hearts of men, the things that God has prepared for those that love him. Think about that. Yeah. You cannot, you have not the capacity to even imagine the goodness that God has designed for you. Wow. So when he said, let the peace of God rule in your heart, well, we know that peace is freedom from all distress, this experience as a result of sin. Peace is the time and dimension without sin. Mm. Peace is the absence of all demonic activities. That's right. Wow. Is there such a place on this planet? Is there such a place that I can live in? That, are, that will allot that for me? Yes. It, it, it would have to be. It would have to be. Otherwise, how, how can God tell me not to, you know, how can God tell me to, 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 to let it rule? Amen. If, there's no such, if there's no such place, then it, it would be, wouldn't be right, for, it wouldn't be fair for him to tell me yes. to let peace rule. Yeah. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be right. Well, well, well I, there is such a place. There is a place that God has for us that we can reside in that is demonic free. Mm -hmm. 
or no, you know, demonic activities. But you know, they're just free of demonic activities. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So he said, "Let peace rule." And so, 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 what, so, what do I have to do? Then, well, I, well, well, the sixteenth verse tells me what I have to do in order to locate such a place. Yes. Ha! He said, next thing he said, in the next breath, he said, let the word of Christ dwell in your return. Ah, mm. ah, there it is. There is the key, there is the key to the mystery. You know, you know, we, you know, listening to the devil, the devil talks to you, you know, you listen, you know that the devil trained you. He, well, he, you know, we didn't know any better. And, you know, he trained us and taught us, you know, you have good and bad days, you're up mm. and down and all that. He taught us like that. You know, you win, we won some, and we lost some. Mm. Remember that? Remember those days when you were winning some and losing some? Mm. Well, you didn't know. Yeah. That's the way the devil trained us. Uh -huh. I didn't know I could win them all. That's right. Well, when it comes to the thing, when God, when I, get, when I began to listen to God, I found out that, dear God, I can win them all. Yes. I found out that I can let, I, I'm the one that holds the trigger to yes. my peace. Yes. I am the one that holds the, the trigger or the switch to my peace. Mm -hmm. So first I make a decision to let it. Now see people, now you, if, you don't re, if you don't receive these principles and apply them, it won't mean a thing to you. Mm -hmm. If you don't receive these principles and apply them, it won't mean a thing. It'll just be another Bible class to you, I'll be honest with you, I'll be, I'll be straight up with you. Mm -hmm. But no, 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 you gotta choose. You, well, I want that. I want to live in an environment where there is no devils. Mm -hmm. I want to live. I want to live in an environment where there is zero demonic activity. Mm -hmm. Now I know there is such a place because it's it's, it's the secret place of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Notice the language that God uses to describe such a place. He said, "He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty." That's people now, dear friend. It's not just for good reading. Mm -hmm. and that's not just some poetic. Scripts to read and say, Whoa, don't that sound wonderful? Mm -hmm. No, that is for you and I to apply to our lives. Yes, there is such a place, yes, the secret place of the Most High. Mm -hmm. I have the right and been given the privilege to abide there. He who dwells in the secret place. Secret, look at that. Secret, yeah. secret, secret, secret to who? Yeah. Absolutely. Because that's the place where the devil, there's no demonic activity. Mm. So there is no devil. God is not secret to God. It's not secret to me. I'm the one that's there. I'm the one that makes the decision to live, to live there. And it's not secret to God. Say, so, hey, but one more. That's the devil. He can't, he don't know where you are. That's why he cannot come and interrupt you because he don't know where you are. Amen. That's why God says, see, that's, why, that's, that's the arena of peace. Peace is where there is no devil. Mm -hmm. No demonic activity. There's no devil activity. Why? Well, he don't know where he are, so he can't. He don't, he's, he's, not, he's not welcome there. Mm -hmm. you, are, are, you, are you still here? Yes. No, this is real, and I want us to get a hold of this, but, but the key to this place is, is the Word of God. He said, let the Word of God, he said, let peace rule. Then he said, let the Word of God, because it is the Word of God that's going to give me instructions to show me how to access that place. Yes. There is a place that I can live in. I'm talking about every day. There's a place that I can live without devils. God has given me every tool, everything that I need to remove and to disqualify demonic activities in my life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you and I have to do it. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, let peace rule. Yeah. You got to do it. You got to understand that. You got to understand it. You got to elevate. You got to go somewhere you've never been. Ha <laughs> ah, Lord Jesus, there is a place uh. in God that you've never been. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, a, there's a new escape room that you have never entered in. It's waiting for you. Yes, and sir. God has invited us to come into it. He is oh his why is open. It, in fact, there's one place he gave an open invitation. He said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come to me. Come boldly to the throne of grace. 
See, the devil don't, knows nothing about the activities of the throne of grace. He don't know. He, he hasn't, he's not welcome there. Amen. He is not invited there. It's but you and I have been invited to the throne of grace. Yeah. Come boldly, come boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy yes. and find grace to help in oh, time. Yes. Oh, yes. Now, now, dear friends, that, that is not just good reading. Mm -hmm. and, and, and too often or too long we have treated the word of God, you know, just like it's just good reading. And, we just, and then just go away and forget what manner of words to be read. I, I want you to lack on. I want to encourage you to latch on to what God says and make application. Begin to practice making application of the things yes, of God. Yes. Because that's what's going to transform you. That's what's going to take you to a place and a level of life that you have never lived in. Mm. Your mind have never even imagined. There is a place for you. There is a place for you that God has designed that your mind has not even imagined. God is good. Oh, yes, it is. And you don't have to wait till you die. That's another lie that from sent was for sent from hell. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. God give you all that stuff, but dear God, you're gonna have to wait till you leave this. Yeah. Uh, no, dude, yeah. I don't have to wait till I leave earth. I gotta wait till I leave you. <laughs> so, so you better let him know that. No, no, no. I won't I can't have this hanging around with you, dude. Amen. Yeah, you, you're right, you're right in what you were saying. Yeah, well, yeah, after you die. You, you know, you've heard it. Yeah, 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 but you know, after that, then God will get you all, you get your healing after you die. You don't need what are you going to do healing after you die? No <laughs> Oh, well, see how stupid that sounds? Mm. No, no, everything is designed for me now. But the, but the devil will tell you, and those are the imaginations that you've got to cast down. Yes. The devil will tell you, yeah, yeah, if you insist on believing, he said, okay, first thing, you're going to run out from around mm. But then if you insist on he said, well, yeah, okay, after you die, then you can have all these goodies. No, yep. no, not after I die, dude. After I get out of your company, Amen. that's when I get. That's when I get it. Amen. Because this stuff, you, you, this stuff, you can't even be around this stuff. Amen. You, devil, what I'm, what, I, what I'm planning to live in, you can't even be around it. Mm. Mm. It's too high class for you to even be around. Mm. That's why God said, "Let peace rule." What is peace? Is the absence of demonic activity. Yes, sir. Amen. Peace. Yes. Jesus said over in John, John 14, 27, my peace I give unto you. Mm -hmm. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Yes. Peace I leave with you. I'm leaving you on the earth, but I'm leaving you in, a, in an environment whereby you can transition. You can operate here on the earth out of the corruption of the earth. Mm -hmm. But yet operate here. Dear God, that's good. I'm giving you something that you can operate in a place of utopia, yet still while you're on this planet. Yes, sir. Wow. Is there such a place? Yes. Yes, it is. But you got to learn how to walk in it. Yes. That's why God said, you let this peace rule. You allow it. You, you find out how to access this. And I'm learning. Dear God, I'm learning this. I'm learning. I'm learning how to do this. Mm. I am learning how to access this devil free environment yes, sir. whereby it's, 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 it's the secret place in the most high but 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 it's 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 a place that you can dwell and operate devils is all around they don't know anything about you because it's a secret place and they will have no effect on you that's right that's right that's because you have learned how to cast them down mm -hmm. All of that's part of the training to live over here, what we're talking about living. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Mm. Mm. Casting down. See, the weapon, he talks about the weaponry of our warfare. The weaponry that, that, that causes me to, 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 to move into this arena. You got to fight for that. He said, fight for it. Yes. Fight the way in there. Fight the good fight of faith. Press your way in. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal weapons, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, removing the strongholds out of your life so you can walk in the liberty. Mm -hmm. Oh, God's peace. Oh, this is so wonderful. 
You, but you got to do that. And the point you say, well, well, why aren't people walking in this? Well, they don't know how. They have not been trained and taught how to pull down yes. the stronghold. They don't even know a thing about stronghold. Mm. The devil got a hold and they don't know nothing about it. <laughs> no, you got to go. That's why he said, he said, let the word of Christ dwell in your riches. The word of God's going to teach you and show you where you are and then show you how to elevate yourself out of that demonic environment mm. and pull down those strongholds and every vain imagination that would lock you into that environment. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Word of God will do that. Mm -hmm. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning. I'm like a kid in the first grade. I'm learning more dear God. I'm learning like I never knew. That. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm, every time I go to this book, uh. It expands my understanding mm. of how God designed for us to live on this planet and be totally successful, run our race, fulfill our purpose, and then leave this thing and enter into a place where our dear God, the mind knows nothing about. Mm. Woo! Glory That's to God. Good. That's good. And it awaits us. But you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. When the minute you entered into Christ, when you became a member of the body of Christ, mm. You're in your proper place to start developing and operating and living in this wonderful place that God has for you. So I find it out through it by the word of God. Now, how do we live here? What, what is the lifestyle of peace? What is a lifestyle? How is it? How do I live in peace on this earth? Yeah. On this sin demonic infested environment uh -huh. where can I find peace what? that God has offered to me and have given me the right and the privilege of living in it and allowing it to rule in my life yeah. how do I access that well the word of God there, there it is just like the word of God will tell you exactly how to do it well Rewind back to the first verse of that third chapter mm -hmm. of Colossians. If then you were raised with Christ, well, that's all up to you. See, notice everything is in your court. If you were raised with Christ. Well, let me ask you first. Well, before you was raised with him, you had to be buried with him. Were you buried with him? Well, let me confirm that. Turn back, turn over to Romans. Mm -hmm. Turn back to Romans, and I'll let you can find out whether or not you was buried with them or not. The sixth chapter of Romans, you can find out if you've been buried with because the Colossians say if you were if you were raised with him, well, you can't be raised until you're buried, right? Yeah. Let's find out if he's been buried. <laughs> what is this good? Well, Romans 6, 4 says, Therefore we were buried with him. Mm. Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. Now I can be raised because I've been buried. I found out this. But, but notice where I'm finding all this. Where am I finding all this out from? The word. See, he comes right back around to what he said in the 16th verse. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, you ain't getting any of this. It's like going to a movie just watching and blink is gone. Mm. You ain't getting this. The word, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. In all wisdom. Mm -hmm. And teachings and admonishing one another in songs and hymns and spiritual songs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. There got to be some dying to take place before you're going to walk in the liberty of God's peace. Amen. Buried with him. In other words, let me. I'm going to. I'm going to bring it right down to where you can handle it. You can't miss this. You see Jesus hanging on the cross. You see him die. You died with him. Amen. You gotta, you gotta see you reckon yourself to have died with. In fact, further down in this, uh, in the, in the uh, 
6th chapter, the, the, the 11th verse, he, that's exactly what he says. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God. Mm. You got to reckon yourself to have died. Reckon yourself to be dead. Yeah. To be dead to sin, you got to die to this flesh. Yes, sir. And so, the fourth verse of the sixth chapter of Romans says, Therefore we were buried with him through baptism unto death. We were buried with him through baptism unto death. You see, look at the goodness of God. God did not require you to hang on the cross. Amen. Amen. But you got the benefit of it. Yes. Dear God, you got a shout on that one. I didn't die for my sin. Jesus died. I reckon myself to have died with him. And guess what? I get the credit for dying on the cross. Oh, God. This, which is the payment for my sin. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, let's go and look at it. Therefore we were buried with him through baptism unto death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead, what happened Sunday morning after Jesus was buried? He was raised. Guess who else got up? Woo, you better get a hold of that. If you want to walk in this peace, you better get a hold of that. I died with him. I was buried with him. And now I'm raised with him. That is right there. That's it. That's the word. That's what it says. See. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. In fact, when we when you received Jesus and you were water baptized, y'all yeah. know that we all take him downstairs and baptize. We yeah. dump him in water. Amen. We bury him. I never leave him down there. Yeah. And then I bring him back up. You know what this yeah. signifies? This signifies your burial and then your resurrection. You buried with Christ, and then you're raised. See, notice, look at the scripture. Now, let's read, read the word. Read the word. That fourth verse in Romans six. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism. There it is. Mm -hmm. Into what? Death. 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 Die. What's the wages of sin? Death. So my sin paid now. Yes, sir. If, if you're still claiming sin, you need to go back and get another donkey. Yeah. If you're still claiming sin, you need to go get dumped again. Yes, sir. <laughs> She, she wants you to she was buried and raised. You shouldn't be claiming sin no more because the wages of sin is death. And when you were dumped, is an indication that you were buried, that you died and you were buried. And then when you were raised up, you were raised up and walked in newness of life. Mm -hmm. And so where's where, where the sin? If you got some more sin, what are you going to do with it? Uh, I like to hear it. I like to ask this way. When you better get rid of it? And how? The next time you get to claiming sin and talk about how sinful you are, ask yourself, when are you going to get rid of it and how? Mm -hmm. Because you don't sweep sin, you don't sweep sin under the rug. If there was, if it was that easy, that's what God would have did the first time. When he first, the first deal, he'd just swept it under the rug. Because of sin, you sweep it under the rug. This had to come out of the other side. The next, I, I'm, no, no, I'm telling you. See, I know this is radical preaching, but the next time you get to holler about how much sin you got, ask yourself this question: When am I going to get rid of it, and how? Because sinners don't go to heaven. Amen. They don't spend eternity with Jesus. Sin them don't. If you got so much sin, and, 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 and I'm you, you're going to find some folk to God, they're going to tell you how much they have. Ask them what they're going to do with it. And when they're going to get rid of it. And how are they going to get rid of it? Because yes. Jesus ain't going to cross the cross. Once the That's right. So, 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 I'm trying to help us get rid of religious thinking. And, re and get ready to get hold of the word because it is the word of God that's going to get you out of the devil's control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's going to get you in the arena of peace where you can have a mind to think on things that are just pure and of a good report and do the business of God. Mm -hmm. This is real, people. This is real. Mm -hmm. And so, but therefore we were buried with him by baptism, through baptism unto death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not walking in the oldness of life. I'm walking in newness of life. That means I'm walking sin free. Mm -hmm. I'm not walking in sin. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm done with sin. I'm done with sin. Want me to prove it to you? I can show you scripture. I got scripture for you. Go to the 22nd verse of Colossians 1. 
And I'll show you where my sin, show you where, show you where I am. Colossians 1.22. Yet now he has... Colossians 1.22, this is NLT style. Yet now he has reconciled you to himself through the death of Christ. See that? See how Ignite did it? In his physical body. And, now see, it was Christ's physical body. Yeah. But we reckon ourselves to be there to be yeah. there with him. Yeah. As a result, he, God, has brought me into his own presence and I am holy and I'm blameless and I stand before God without a single fault. Mm. Mm. All right, that's a good one to take home. Take with you home. I would take oh, yes, I'd, I'd mark that one in my Bible. I really, I really would have thought you. I'd mark that one in my Bible. <laughs> do, do you see what God says about you? He says that about you after you've been buried with Him by baptism under death, and after you have been raised from the dead. That is what God says about you. And that's why I want to know how can you walk around and talk about how much sin you have and the question, next question is what are you going to do with it and the next question is how are you going to, do it? How are you going to get rid of it? You can't drop sin off down the street. You can't just stop the car so and get out. They don't get rid of it. You won't get rid of it. <laughs> you can't get rid of sin like that. You can't get rid of it by fasting and praying. I know that's a shocker. Because if that was the case, all we had to do is fast and pray, and we got to remember the sin. The way you get rid of sin is that without, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. I said, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Amen. Without the shedding of blood, there is no getting rid of it. Amen. And the blood of Jesus has already been shed. And if that didn't work for you, if that don't work for you, then you're done. You do. Mm. You are doomed. If you don't take advantage of the death that Jesus already died to take in your sin, you are doomed. Sure. Amen. Sure. I'm telling you, align your mouth with the word. Mm-hmm. Now that see, when, see and, and, and I know what, and I understand exactly where people are. People are, you know, they talk about how how unworthy they are and how they're not perfect and all of that. And I dear God, that is a fleshly thinking. There's not a there's not heavenly thinking. That's flesh thinking. You gotta align, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. You gotta align your, get your mouth aligned with heavenly thoughts and heavenly things. Yes, sir. Because if you if you stay down in the reason world, you do have you got plenty of sin. You got it every day. You got to pay up. Mm-hmm. If you stay within the reasoning world. That's yes, right. But I don't live in the reasoning world anymore. Mm-hmm. Yes. I live in God's world. I'm in Christ. Not to never come out. I will never come out of Him again. I'm in Christ, never to leave him again. Yeah. And I and my and I have been buried with him, and I've been raised with him, and I walk in newness of life. That's exactly what the scripture said. Yeah. I now walk in newness of life. Mm-hmm. That's the heavenly that's the language. That's the way. See, there's two languages. There's earth language and then there's heavenly language. I'm going to get to that in a minute. There's earth language and then there's heavenly language. Mm-hmm. Which, which language are you? Which world are you living in? If you've been buried with Christ with baptism under death, then you ought to be living in the heavenly world. Mm-hmm. My citizenship is no longer on the earth. Mm-hmm. My citizenship is in heaven. Yeah. Philippians come, confirms that. My citizenship is in heaven. My citizenship is not on the earth anymore. My citizenship is and so I so when I speak, I speak of where I live. Mm-hmm. That's that you gotta and, and see, that's why God says, stop looking at what you see. Because you, you know you get to talk with well, 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 no, stop looking at that. Let me get on over here. Y'all looking funny in the face. <laughs> Colossians chapter three. Colossians chapter three. You know, let me. Yes, sir. Come on, talk. Verse number one. Back up to verse number one. Because the word of God was sent to you. You're going to find yourself from the word of God. You're not going to find yourself. You are not going to walk with God. Walk in faith, reasoning, with your reasoning mind. You can't do it. There's no, you kill, it will, it will destroy you. Your mind will rob you every day. You cannot walk by faith in, the, in your natural mind. In the world of reasoning. Okay. Verse number one of, of the third chapter of Colossians, verse number one. If then you were raised with Christ, I was, because I was buried with him. Yeah. If I was raised, amen, I was. 
Seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. you have to listen. listen, if you make religion out of this, you, 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 it's not going to work for you. Amen. You're going to have to listen to what God said. He said, if you're raised with Christ, seek those things which are above. Those things of heaven. Yes. The things of the glory world. Mm -hmm. Not this natural world. This natural world is, is dead and is passing away and it's going nowhere. Yes, sir. It's going to be burned to a crisp, everything here. It's going to melt, the, it's going to be melted with fervent heat. Yes, it's sir. going to melt away everything. Yes, Even sir. the body that I now live in ain't, mm -hmm. get, ain't going anywhere. Now I'm going to bail out of here. I won't be here. But this old boy here ain't can't go. So I'm best while not even catering to a man. I'm not gonna cater to him. Because yeah. he ain't going anywhere anyway. He as far as he's going. He is he is he is as far as he is going. The best he'll do is 30, 35, 40,000 feet. Yeah. He right back here, he ain't going further. Yeah. He, he, he earthy. <laughs> no, you're not going anywhere. This guy. So watch this, watch this. This is important for you to learn. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Amen. I'm trying to show you how to walk in peace. As long as you're walking with your mind with on things on the earth, you're going to be confused, tangled up, and twisted. Yes. The devil will see to it. Set your mind on things above, not on, not on things on the earth. Verse 3, for you died. You said, I didn't know that. See, okay, how many live people you ever see us bury? I don't bury living live people. So was you buried with Christ? Amen. Well, then you have to have died. Otherwise, you're buried alive. I'm just going to have you set up half the night, but that's good. Yeah. And you can meditate this word and learn, and God's going to get you to show you how to walk in peace. You don't bury live people. You only bury dead ones. Watch this. Set your mind on things above, not on things on earth, for you die. Mm -hmm. And your life is hidden with Christ in God, that is the secret place where it is perfect peace. Mm. And you have access, you have a right to live there. You have a right to live there. Watch this. See, oh, what do you mean I died? The passions, the, the nature of this human physical body here is dead. And I keep it dead. Yes, sir. It's trying to get up there. It's scram around trying to get up once in a while. I knock it right back down. Mm. It's dead. See, see, notice, see, notice, make it verse 3. For you die. Now, you know God's not in the business of confusing nor telling lies. Amen. And if he said, I died, I died. I died. You've got to die before. You, if you get born again, did you, are you born again? Amen. Amen. Well, if you got born again, you have to have died. Otherwise, two of you. Mm -hmm. And you don't need two of you. You don't need two of you. <laughs> you don't need no two of you. One is enough. <laughs> Come on. Amen. You have to. <laughs> you, 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 you died. You had to have died. You got born again. The old man is dead. Oh my God, oh my God. Galatians, Galatians 220, 220, I think it is. So, uh, so I'm, 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 I'm dead to sin. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. I've been crucified. Yes, sir. I've been crucified. It's no longer I who live, mm -hmm. but Christ lived in me. And the life that I now live, by, live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. So you have to die. See, notice what you died. For look at the third verse. For you died. Yes, sir. You died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. What does 2 Corinthians 5 17 say? If any man be where? In, be where? 
In Christ. That's the secret place. In Christ. In Christ. In Christ. Now look at this. This, 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 this revelation here agrees with it. For you died and your life is hidden. 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 With Christ in God. Hidden from who? Thank you. He can't see, 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 you see what I mean? You see where peace is? You see where peace is? Yes, sir. Peace is where there is no devil. Mm -hmm. If the devil is there, he ain't no peace there. Because no he don't know nothing about it. <laughs> so you, the way you walk in peace is you have to be hidden from the devil. Mm -hmm. Another place to go by God, say, he said he called the secret place. Same thing. That's right. It's you're hidden. Now, what gives your position away? You have one member that will give your position away. Come on. Your mouth. <laughs> your mouth. Your mouth will yes, give sir. away your position. Yes, sir. The devil will sign you up. He's up. I, got I heard you. I got you. You got a bead on you now. He heard your mouth. Your mouth. <laughs> your mouth will give your position away. Yes, sir. Why do you think I tell you to be slow to speak? Yeah. yeah. Just don't, don't talk so much. Don't talk, stop talking so much. Amen. You give me position good. away. It's mm. real good. Yeah. Mm. And we, we, we train, you know, we, in, our, in, 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 in night, my military training, we train signs and you be able to sign it because you talk too much, you give you position away. You talk, you ought, you ought to be know something about that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You give you position away. You're quiet. You yeah. keep quiet. You make some of your sign. Just keep your yeah. mouth shut. Talk okay. too much. Talk to him, but you give your position away. Mm -hmm. yeah, you understand? You understand? You understand what we're talking? You understand this? How you live? This is this is real. See, see, your life, your life is hidden. Your life is hidden with Christ. You died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Mm -hmm. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with Him in glory. Yes. Sir. So. We are here on the earth, and God has provided for us a place where we can effectively live and carry out the purpose and plan and calling that God has placed in us and be at peace at the same time. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. But it's up to you to develop and walk in this. It's up to you to learn, understand these principles. You see, your calling is to impact those that are without. That's the bottom line. That's the general calling of the, of the believers. If, if there was no need for me to impact anyone, if, if, I, was, if I was all totally self-centered, if it was just me, mm -hmm. then I could leave now. I, I would, there would be no need to stay around here. Who would want to stay in a bad environment just for the sake of being there? Mm -hmm. uh, not me. No. If I don't have a purpose, I'm, I'm out of here. Yes, sir. No, I'm not just, just no, I don't, I don't see that. I don't, I don't believe that. I, I don't want to do that. Just, just, just here, I'm just going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into a combat zone. I'm not fighting. No. I'm just going to go into a combat environment just to be there. No. For, with no purpose. No. Not me. Mm -hmm. Ducking and shooting. You know, I'm not, no. Sleeping in the mud. Not, no. And with no purpose. Come on. Mm. We have a purpose. Your and my purpose on this earth is to yes, sir. impact the yes, sir. lives of people. Yes. Why? Because number one, God loves people. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Listen to me. God loves people. Amen. And he has invested in you what the life that God has invested in you Qualify you and authorize you to go impact other people. Amen. Because God doesn't That's want it. one person lost. That's it. Turn over to 2 Peter That's it. 3. That's this is so important. Because I think, I know with, with me, when I began to understand my purpose and understand my calling, you know, it, it changed me. It really did. It changed me. I found out in 1st 2nd Timothy 1 9 that I was called. Yes. You are called. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. The devil put a lie out in the church and told a told Christian someone wasn't called. Told me, oh, you just all right. You just you 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 don't you don't amount to much. You, there's no you not important. No, every child God has is important, Amen. and every child He has is a, has a calling on. Him. Amen. Every child. Amen. Would you put up Second Timothy uh, one nine, please? Second Timothy one nine. There's no such thing as an insignificant Christian. Amen. There is no such thing. You you understand this because. Listen, look, you see this? Who has done what? Saved us. Are you saved? Amen. Then you are, you are in that number. Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. That is you. That's you right there. That's you. Amen. That's you and I. Your places of ministry may be, may be different, different, but wherever but there is a God. There's no such thing as being a member of God's family and not Amen. being called. Amen. Come on, talk to And that's important. You need to understand it because the devil will rob, and he robs people by making them think that you are nobody, you are nothing, and you don't count. You just, you just, you just don't. You can come late and leave early. Don't let nobody ever notice, and you, you don't, you don't have to do nothing. Just, 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 just stay here and just twiddle your thumbs. There's no Christian on the earth like that. Every one of us have a purpose. I know it. Otherwise, there's no. There's, 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 that scripture is no good. Who has saved us? What did the us represent? The us represent the people of God. Yeah. Who have saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works. Ephesians 2 8 confirmed that. For by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of yourself is the gift of God, not of works. Amen. You're not, you're, not, you're not a Christian. You're not a member of God's family because of you and your Amen. work. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. So you can get rid of that idea. Amen. Thank Everyone else is a result of the grace of God. For by Amen. grace we say through faith. And it's, it's important for you to understand it. We are, God, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are God's people. And, the, and there's a purpose for you. And the purpose is for you to impact. And I'm, and I'm, I'm just, there are some specific things that you that you have to do, but I'm I'm speaking of the general purpose of the body of Christ, mm -hmm. the yeah. general purpose of God's people in the earth. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Here is here is God's heart. God's heart is revealed here in Second Timothy, Second Peter, verse chapter three. Is a revelation of the heart of God toward people. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, verse 9, but is long suffering toward us. Watch this. Not willing that any should perish, but that how many? All, All should come to. You see the heart of God? You see his heart? He is my Father, and I love him. And so now that's my heart because that's my father's heart. My father's heart, God, God loves people. Well, he confirmed that in John 3, 16. Everybody have a bridge. For God so loved the world that he gave the gift of Jesus for the, was to salvage the world. Yeah. And the heart of God is for every man to believe. That's what he said. Whoever believed on the Son of God mm -hmm. will be saved. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ, whoever believes on him, shall not perish but have everlasting life. There's no works in that. And our, and our life, our, the calling that's on us is for us to impact people, for us to be that, that be that, be that person that God has saved and go out and to impact and to touch people. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. We're here to impact, and I, 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 I rejoice in that. I, 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 I understand that's my calling, mm -hmm. and I understand that. And every day when I rise and go out every day, my desire is to touch people. I want to help somebody. Yes. 
That's why I won't, I'm not going to fuss with you. I'm not going to fight with you. If you're here, you can, have, you can take the biggest piece of cake. I don't take it. I don't want it. Amen. And that's what it takes. Does he take it? I don't care. You want to get in the front? Go right ahead. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll follow up. Yes, sir. I'd rather, I'd rather yes, sir. Say, do something. Forget me. Because mm. I want to be an impact to you. Yes, sir. You get like that. Yes, sir. You get like that when you're hanging around Jesus. Mm -hmm. You just want to help people. You, you know, you, yeah, forget my way. Wait, 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 yes, that's my right. Forget my right. Yes. I don't care. Come on, talk. Paul said, just take wrong. Forget it. He wanted to help people so bad. He said, why don't be fussing with nobody? Just take wrong. Let them treat you wrong. That's okay. That's okay. You know better. Go on. Let them have it. Give it to them. You understand the attitude? Do you see how you get when you just hang around Jesus? And you understand. Now, and, and so God, not, also not, not only... Does God let us to see what the, see what our purpose and our calling is? But then He provides this environment for us. Mm. Here's an environment. He loves us so much that not only He don't. It's like it's like it's like it's like God can't. He can't wait to 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 arm us up. So He yeah. just put this stuff out there for us, yeah. just loving us right on while we are while we are laboring here. The day is coming when all the trash is gonna be over. But God has put some goodies out there. His peace that we can walk oh, in that. Yeah. While we are doing what we are called to do, we can walk in this wonderful peace and have this life, God, this good life. Yeah. We can have it now while we labor on the earth. And you, you got to learn how to understand who you are and then get, put that devil out of your way. You got to do that because one of the things that God did when he, he came to Jesus, Jesus stripped Satan and made a public spectacle of him. Yes, he did. Oh, I love yes, that. Yes, During the battle, he made a he he disarmed principalities and powers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and made a public spectacle of the devil. Put him out of business. Of course, he 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 keep lying, but everybody knows. Everybody knows he's lying. I know he's lying. Jesus knows he's lying. Just don't let the lies bother you. Amen. I was going through the Bible and I was looking at it. I was looking, I was reading through how, how I read through the book of Acts there, and I'm looking at how he he just keeps fighting the church. Mm -hmm. He keeps losing, he loses every battle. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's just stupid. Mm -hmm. He loses every battle. You know, he put put the put the apostles in jail, Jesus turned them out. Mm -hmm. He teach him how to break jail. He teach he, he taught Peter how to break jail. Yes. And he just keeps doing crazy stuff. And every time he do something, Jesus just just throwing out. And then, and then I look at, then I look, I come down through the, uh, you know, even in our present day, he's still doing. I, I was looking, I was just looking up there, looking, looking at some stuff there, and how the devil just he put out propaganda on the people of God, mm -hmm. men of God, and he, he put this, he spews propaganda out there, mm -hmm. you know, they're trying to make them look bad, make them look like they're dishonest and all of that. You know, mm -hmm. same devil, same devil, same devil to put Peter in jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's the same devil that's spewing propaganda. You, 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 there's enough propaganda on YouTube to last you from now. Oh. Propaganda mm -hmm. against the people of God, against the church, whatever. It's the devil. That's the devil doing. What is trying to trying to degrade the people of God? But in the middle of all of that, oh. God has designed a platform for you yes. and I to walk in His peace and fulfill our purpose. I'm trying to show it to you, yes. and it's available unto you, yes. and you can walk in it. You don't have to. You don't have to try to. You can walk in it, and then then he give us authority mm -hmm. to trample on serpents and scorpions. He give you authority over them. Mm -hmm. He said, "I give you authority." Luke ten nineteen. I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing yes. shall by any means hurt you. Yes, God has designed a safe place for us. In the middle of the combat zone. Mm -hmm. He designed a foxhole for us that the devil cannot get in. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a place of safety. It's a place of peace. That's my fault. You devil, you can't, you can't even come in. You don't know where it is. Mm. Yes, sir. Amen. And yet I can be affected. And so here's what I encourage you to do. Be mindful of your worth. You are the best thing on this earth. You are God's person. Yeah. You are God's child. And every day is, a, is an opportunity 
for you to impact somebody's life. Amen. Every day is an opportunity for you to impact somebody's life. You get up with an attitude of blessing people. Mm. Develop that. See, that's your part. You yeah. do you do that. Don't you 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 you, you know you, you've been taught, you, you 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 know how to cast down imagination. You know how not to walk around at the devil having you depressed and looking mean all day. Amen. We've been teaching you that. You, you cast down imagination Amen. and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And you bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Yes. Every, 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 every lie, every thought, every imagination that comes to your mind is a lie from hell. Mm -hmm. And God said, cast it down. Yes, sir. Thoughts about it's not going to work, what's not going to work tomorrow, it's a lie. Yes, cast it down. Thoughts about what you did is it's a lie. Yes, Cast it down. Amen. You are God's person. Mm -hmm. You are God's child on this earth. Been ushered into his presence yes. and given access to the throne of grace. Mm. That's who you really are. Yes. You are not what the devil keeps popping into your mind what you are. Amen. You know, why you didn't do this and how you have failed and all of that. Mm. Hogwash, spit in his eyes. Amen. Casting down imagination. You know how to do that. Yes, sir. Don't you live there and let that devil bam, beat on your mind. Defeat starts in your mind. Yeah. Victory no. starts in your mind too. But don't, don't let that, don't, don't let us, no! You take the word of God, everything, every lie that the devil shoots in your mind, there's a word that will cut it down. Yes, it That's why God said you take the sword of the spirit and you ram it in you. Yes. I belong to God. Mm -hmm. not the devil's property. And you begin to understand that. And then you, and you make a decision to walk in this peace. And then you take the word of God and you learn how to do it. Yes. The word of God, the word of God. Letting peace rule. Mm -hmm. Letting peace rule is the word of God. You got to let it, let it, let peace. I choose that. And then you let the word of God dwell in you richly. And as the word of, as the word of God dwell in you richly, there is the word that's going to, that's going to instruct you. And what to do. And now you, now you know who you are. By looking at this word here saying. If then you are raised with Christ. Then seek those things which are above. Stop wasting your time on earth news. It ain't even news. It's proper. It's demonic propaganda. Mm -hmm. That's a good name for it. Mm -hmm. ABC, NBC, NBC, CC, CNN. Don't stop calling it news. Call it demonic propaganda to distract the mind of the believer. Amen. So you can set your mind on things above. And that's why God, see, God knows what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and we're the one that's, you know, like, what, what is that? It ain't real. It's a lie. <laughs> you died. Isn't that amazing? You died. Well, why are you spending time trying to protect something that's dead? That'll wake you up. Why are you spending time trying to preserve something that's dead? Come on. Why are you spending all your time on something that's dead? You died, did you? You, you got to decide whether you died or not. See, <coughs> if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, yes. then the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your mortal body. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. <laughs> you don't have to try the Spirit of God will take care of you. I know that's what takes care of me. The Spirit of God gives me life. I, my health is, is, is because of the Spirit of God that's, that, that, that's, that's living inside of me. Amen. You, don't have to, you don't have to spend your time trying to take care of you. <laughs> no, you don't. The Spirit of Him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me and is giving life to my mortal body. So all I got to do, I keep my job, I keep my mind on the business of the day. Mm -hmm. And my focus is on God's business. Because God already told me that. He said, listen, son, if you seek me first in my kingdom, I'll add everything else to you. Amen. But mm -hmm. well, I choose to believe that. Amen. I don't just take part of that and say, well, you know, I can do some of it. Then I'm gonna, I can, God will take care of some of it. I'm going to take care of some of this myself. Not me. Not me. <laughs> Not me. I'm going to let God do it all. Come on, people. This is real. Because number one, I'm, I'm dead. I don't have to. I don't. 
He, I have to, I, God told me that Son made no provisions for your flesh. Amen. That's written, you know. Make no provisions for what? Well, I've made provisions for everything you need already provided. Mm. Well, if you don't believe that, then you can't have the peace. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> He's so smart. If it's between you and God taking care of you, which one do you think can take care of you best? Mm -hmm. uh, now, come on. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Uh, now, if you, can take, if you take responsibility for taking care of you, you know what? God will let you. <laughs> he said he'll do it. Yes, he said. Fine. I'll stay to the business of the day. Yes, he said. My business is to impact people. Mm -hmm. I want to set my mind on things above. I want, to set, I want to set my mind on things above, not on things on earth. Mm -hmm. See, watch this. If I'm if, if to, to take care, to spend my time taking care of me, I got to bring my mind back to the earth. Amen. You see that? Can't you see that? Come on. No. He said, set your mind on things above, not on things on earth. Well, God, the things that I've yet to attend on earth, are you going to let them go to pot? No, I got them, boy. Mm. <laughs> I got them. He said, I got it. Uh -huh. When God sent me to Lake Hurst's ministry, I said, just ministry. Yeah, I didn't have I didn't have any build on ministry with. Well, how did we do it? He did it. God did it. He didn't say, now you better get in there, you got to hustle up, you got to hustle that money up, boy. Mm. <laughs> but I didn't. He did. You know, one, you know, both, and he's both of us hustling. Amen. God did. Y'all said, but you see, that don't just stop with that. Don't stop with that. That's, stop, that's with everything. Mm. Your everyday life. The principles. When God operates surprise and the resources for his church, doesn't he? I know he does. That's me. I can tell you. Yeah. I don't. God does. Well, you mean he'll provide resources for a church and won't provide resources for me? I don't believe that. Mm. Just like he provided resources for his church, he'll provide resources for me. Amen. And for you. I'm trying to tell you that. That's why he said, no, you know, because see, we think we got to put our minds on faith on the earth, so I got to take care of me. I got to have some, I got to take care of me. Well, you go ahead and take care of you. I forget. <laughs> Come on. Set your mind on things above. Not on things. He didn't say, set your mind on things above and then set a fall over and then sometimes set your mind on things on earth. You know, spit it up, he says. <laughs> he just said, spit it up. You know, you think about me when you come to church, but then when you go home, think about you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We think that. Mm. Ah, I got to do this. I got to. Well, go ahead. I'm going to bed when I get yeah. yes, yes, And I'll go to sleep, too. Mm. Yeah, you understand. See, see, the light, this, you got to. But you, if you want, you want to get this from God's Word, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Amen. My life is hidden with Christ in God. My life is hidden with Christ in God. Now, if I'm in Christ, mm -hmm. in God, how can there be something wrong with me and not be wrong with Christ? Come on. How can I miss it? How can I need my body? I need something. And Christ doesn't. No. If, if, if I'm in Christ, yes, sir. everything I need, he needs. Everything he needs, I need. Well, can't you see that? And not only am I in him, I'm one with him. Yes, sir. He prayed that. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, if... You know, I mean, every time, I mean, I, I mean you know, uh, every, every pregnant woman I've ever seen, that, that every time she eats the baby eats. Mm -hmm. I got one in, in my house right now. <laughs> I can tell this to eat. <laughs> she eats all the time. Mm -hmm. 
You understand what I mean? Well, well, the baby don't have the baby never asked. I never baby never, that baby never asked for nothing to eat. Never. She's the one that got to eat all the eat. But, but I tell you what, when she eats, guess what? Little homie eats too. You don't know, do you see how, what you mean? Do you see But if you don't receive being, what being in Christ means, see, that, that's, that is a, that's powerful. In Christ, and God talks about it so much, about being in Christ, in Christ, in Him, yeah. in whom, in Christ, in Him. You gotta get a, you gotta get that revelation to know what it means. Because if I'm in Christ, then I am good to go. He cannot, everything that He has, I have it. Amen. If he's okay, I'm okay. Because I'm in him. See, look, that's why God tell me, you don't have to think about you, son. You don't have to think about things on the earth. Because your life is hidden with Christ in God. Amen. Amen. Man, come on. What the devil don't know where you are. Amen. Amen. But you're going to have to hear this. You got to hear this. You got to hear this. You got to hear this. Until you, and you gotta you gotta hear it. Faith comes by hearing, hearing. You gotta keep hearing and listening and hearing and hearing. And it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna dawn on you. Amen. Dear God, my life is not my own. Amen. I've been bought with a price. Therefore I glorify God in my body and in my spirit. Mm -hmm. Now you understand how this works? Amen. And so all I gotta do is walk out. I have the mobilization of a physical body. That I can walk out, yes, sir. and through this physical body, I can impact people, mm. God, yes, and love them. Yes, but I don't have to take care of it. Yes. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus is taking care of it. Yes, he takes care of it well too. Yes. He does. Yes. I trust him to do that. Mm. I don't have to, because I'm my life is hidden with Christ in God, yes. and He takes care of me. See, you think that, that, my friend, is the place of peace. Mm. That's why I sleep. I sleep good at night. Sleep. I don't even want to get up in the morning. Why? Because I have peace. I sleep in peace. I sleep in God's peace. It's available for us. Living in God's peace while we are laboring here on the earth and getting God's business done. That's a place for you. God designed it for you. And he wants you to walk in. I believe that God, I don't think that God would design such a position and such a place for me if he didn't want me to walk in. My Amen. dear friends, take hold to this Amen. and make a decision that you're going to live in God's peace and, not, and no worries else and, and get your mind on things above and get your mind on doing what God called you to do and watch the quality of your life elevate. Amen? Amen. Stand to your feet. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we pray.